Hi, here is Klaas Ninois and I want to show you uh, the Map Room script I've been working on. Um, Map Room is uh, very well suited to make visualizations of the entire world or the globe. And you don't need to use a flat map, but you can actually use a globe for that. And uh, Map Room will help you. For instance, the ubiquitous uh, zoom in action on your area of interest. Um, you need different zoom levels of map data and you need to you know, uh, place them on a sphere and it's a real pain in the ass. So let's uh, get this done with uh, map room. I'm going to start with the satellite map. Um, it's empty at the moment. And since I'm going to build a globe at my location I'm just going to uh, zero that one out. Data space. Okay, my first layer will be the um, uh, base layer. So, uh, base. And I'm going to use um, level 3 map quest data for that. Oh, wait. Now I'm going to download 10 by 10 kilometer, but if I say, if I pick a really large area uh, the script will know okay I don't want to have this area I want actually want to have the entire world it will just give me the entire world as, um, as a map so there we go uh, this is everything is in kilometers uh, by the way and I am interested in Japan so let's make a second layer I'm going to call that layer Japan uh, region and uh, I'm not sure how big and where but if I just pick the helper I can move it to uh, my area of interest so let's pick uh, you know 2000 kilometers Let's use a different map source just for fun. Uh, we can change it uh, later. Let's uh, use a, a map box uh, street basic. Usually looks great. And pick uh, level six zoom level. In uh, I've I've quite a bit of experience picking the right zoom level, and uh, sometimes when you pick too high of a level. The system has to download way too many images uh, to make sense. Okay, here we go. So this is actually pretty good. Uh, a nice region. And now I want to zoom in uh, into this area. I actually don't know which city it is. Because I don't speak Japanese. So, uh, never mind. Let's add a final layer. Let's call this um, Japan city um, I don't know exactly where where that is so I just move my map helper to the location I want and well let's make an estimate let's pick uh, 100 kilometers and what zoom levels did we have we had six so maybe I'm going to pick uh, Nine. Let's get back to uh, well, ping, and let's download this. Keep in mind, this tool gives you access to all kinds of data, like the Bing uh, data or OpenStreetMap or whatever. But it doesn't doesn't give you a license of whatsoever. Uh, it's just a channel. So if you use it, if you use the data, you have to abide by the license terms of each. Uh, of the um, sources you're using. So in, uh, usually it means you have to um, add some attribution. So if you make ima render images or um, animations, uh, you have to attribute the, the source of the data. So I, I need a little bit bigger area. I probably need to, m well, no, I don't move it. Bigger area, higher zoom level. So let's go to 10. 
images are being cached. Uh, so if you download the or if you assemble a map of the same region with the same zoom level over and over, the system doesn't download every time a new stuff. Okay, and let's make this one into Bing and let's make the large image also into Bing so we have a consistent um, source for the data at the moment all the maps are being uh, uh, placed in, in, in the same uh, plane which means that there will be uh, Z fighting it's really a pain in the ass and um, I will probably have to find some kind of solution at the moment my solution is using a, a push modifier crude but uh, well it works so I can zoom in and out and you see some kind of white edge but it's actually not there in the viewport so this is nice and flat. Let's build a globe. It's really difficult, but with um, with the script, it it, it isn't anymore. Um, let me just do it, and then I'll um, explain what it does. Um, it subdivides the mesh. At the moment, the the base mesh is a plane. Uh, it, it gives a, a little bit of subdivision, and then uh, yeah morphs it into a globe, I'm not sure how to describe it and uh, depending on the density of the plane this will take longer or shorter um, the the morphing is is done in a edit poly modifier which is uh, convenient because uh, you can switch it on and off so here's the globe of the base layer and I can um, switch this on and off so I can look at the flat map and then at the globe. I have to do this for the other uh, ones as well. And the last one. So in this cool I can increase the density of the smaller areas to because now you, know, you see it's only two triangles so I think the, the maximum is well, let's try 15. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so here we go you can see it's in development well not so much uh, density added maybe this one will work to modify my push oh. doesn't work here of course to make it fit so that's a nice map let's close the script and now I can zoom in and zoom out and have uh, some kind of um, zooming in visualization. I'm a really bad animator so I'm not going to you know, disgrace myself I'm trying to animate here. But I've got different zoom levels, I've got the entire globe and uh, I've got the entire globe here and I can zoom in and still um, get a consistent image okay there you go global visualizations with uh, map room